So select system call help us to monitor all clients activity at the same time. So these are those clients which are connected to our server and using select system call our server can monitor all those clients at the same time that is which client has sent the data and which client has not sent the data and which client has sent the new connection initiation request. So using this system call our server can actually monitor the state of all connected clients at the same time. So let us discuss select system call now. Server process has to maintain client handles. So remember client handles are also called communication file descriptors. So server maintain multiple communication file descriptors to carry out communication with connected clients. So you can see in the diagram on the right hand side, at this point of time, our server is maintaining three file descriptors. One is the master socket file descriptor and at this point of time, two clients are connected to our server and corresponding to those two connected clients, our server is maintaining two communication file descriptors, which is C1 and C2. So in addition, server process has to maintain connection socket or master socket file descriptor as well, which is M. So this is master socket file descriptor. And the purpose of master socket file descriptor is to process new connection initiation requests from new clients. So Linux provides an inbuilt data structure to maintain the set of socket file descriptors. So you can see at this point of time in this diagram, our server is actually maintaining three file descriptors that is master socket file descriptors and two communication file descriptors. Now of course you need some data structure in order to maintain these file descriptors. So Linux provides an inbuilt data structure which makes the maintenance of socket file descriptors easy. That data structure is called FT set data structure that is file descriptor set. So this is a standard data structure that is provided our C API. So you can see that FD underscore set is actually a set of file descriptors which are maintained by the server at any point of time. So select system call monitor all socket file descriptors which are present in FD set data structure. So you can see we have a select system call and this select system call operate on FD set data structure. In other words, our select system call operate on a set of file descriptors which are maintained by a server. So the argument to the select system call is definitely FD set data structure which contains some set of file descriptors. So this is a high level overview regarding how select system call works and what is the relationship between select system call and FD set data structure. Now next, let us have a detailed discussion on select system call. That is how exactly select system call works. And once you understand the mechanism of select system call, it is it will be very easy for you to implement a server which has multiplexing capabilities. So select system calls allows the server machine to monitor multiple clients connected connections and check which client has sent the data to the process. So select system call is used to monitor multiple clients which are already connected with the server and using select system call the server keeps monitoring the multiple clients connections and check that which client has sent data and which client needs a service. So you can understand it like this suppose there is a client C1 there is a client C2 and there is a client C3. All these clients are connected to the server. Right? So all these clients that is C1, C2, C3 are already connected with the server S. So at any point of time, the client C1 can send a data to the server S, a client C2 can send data to the server S, or a client C3 can send a data to the server S. So using select system call, the server S monitors the connections of the client C1, C2 and C3 at the same time. That is in whatever order or in whatever sequence any of these clients sends a data to the server S, the server S will be in a position to identify that which client has sent a data and which client needs a service. 
right so select system call helps the server s to achieve simultaneous monitor of connected clients in addition suppose there is a client c4 which is not connected to the server s but sends a new connection initiation request to the server s so using select system call the server s not only can monitor the existing connected clients but it can also monitor the new connection initiation request that is sent by the new client to the server right so select system call is actually used to monitor multiple file descriptors so you can relate it to this example that just like in a class the monitor that is the class monitor keeps an eye on all the students of the class at the same time using select system call the server also keeps an eye on all the file descriptors of connected clients as well as it also monitor the arrival of new connection initiation request from new clients and appropriately server s can take an action select system call is a blocking system call that is the moment the server calls the select system call the select system call gets blocked right so blocking system call means that when the select system call is executed the code execution halts for example you may have written your own small programs in which you have in which you must have used the functions like scanf or get ch right and you must have experienced that the call to these functions actually halt the execution of a program similarly the select system call also blocks the execution of a program so such calls are called as blocking system call and select system call is one such blocking system call select system call and blocks when either of the two things happen on the server side that is either a server receives the new connection request from new client that is when the new client c4 sends a new connection initiation request to the server s the server s unblocks from the select system call so this is the scenario 1 and the server s unblocks from the select system call when data request from existing connected client arrives so this is the scenario with client c1 c2 and c3 right so the server unblocks from the select system call when either the event 1 happens or either the event 2 happens so when select system call unblocks server needs to check whether it's a new connection request or new data request on existing connection right so in the latter case server needs to find which client has sent the data right because the server can unblock from the select system call when either the client c2 has sent the data or when the client c3 has sent the data so when the server s unblocks from the select system call it has to identify that it is unblocked from the select system call because of which client so when server starts the first thing it does is to create a master socket a socket to detect arrival of new connection request from new client so this master socket once it is created by the server it is used to gives birth to rest of the communication file descriptor for the clients so c provides a predefined data structure called ft_set which is a collection of file descriptors so you can define the variable read fts set of data type ft_set so ft_set is actually a data type that is provided by standard c apis and it is used as a collection of file descriptors so remember file descriptors are simple integers so ft_set is nothing but it is a collection of file descriptors which the server is maintaining so we will discuss more about this fd_set when we will be actually discussing the implementation of tcp server